Hey, hi guys, uh, welcome to PCF. Uh, in this video, we are going to discuss about some table functions like uh, union, intersect, intersect, and accept. So this is, we will call it as a set functions also. Okay, we will call this as a set functions. So then, so what is union, what is intersect, and what is accept? So how it will work? Let's get started guys, okay? How it will work and then see, we'll see. Okay, we'll go with the Excel example or else, okay, you can go with the paint, okay? Set operations means, okay, so when we have a union, so union means like, so suppose this is one table, okay? And if you have, this is one more table, so two tables are there. So when you do union, A union be something like that, okay? If you go with the A union, so A union be something like that, okay? A union B, sorry. So it will combine the data. So it will combine the data. Suppose uh, you have an ID column, A uh, and B and C. So in this table you have uh, B, B. So you have B, B and then C and then D. So in final table, okay, so it will just combine the data actually so it will combine the data actually so so whatever the data just appends actually so a data we so we'll go with the as this a b and then c then after b so b and b and c and then d something like that okay the union will do like that okay so union will allow also duplicates okay just if you go here so same example so we have some uh, table A and then table B. So you can assume that, like that, okay? So whenever you do the union, just take as it is, or just same like append, append, how append will do in the power query, the same way it will do, just it will append the records one below other, okay? One below other table records, okay? That is the union, okay? It will not take care about the duplicates and all, just it will, you know, add as this. But what is intersect? Intersect means only the, common records from the both the tables. What are the common records from the both the tables? Suppose if you see here, so what are the common B we have BB? Okay, we have B. So let's take the B here. Okay, BB. So let's take the BB. And even intersects also will take the duplicates. And then CC. Okay, we have a C here. And then D. Okay, these are the common records we have in a both the tables. Okay, so we have, so B, C, D is common records in a both the table. That is called intersect. Intersect means like if you, um, uh, you know, go with this, you know, uh, charts now. So, so this is the intersect. Okay, what is the common area? Those, that is the intersect, right? So this uh, area, so this common area is called intersect. So this is the common area. So if you, you know, same way, if you go with the, you know, so let me take, so if you go with the union, so just two tables, the total, uh, you know, total. Okay, so the same way if you go with the same paint kind of thing. So total, this area, total area is called a union. And if you go with the except, okay, if you go with the except, so like, um, if you go with the except, so let's take, this um, set A and then set B. Okay, if you go with the uh, no accept, so it will like so. If you go with the set A, then so it's only this area. So this is the accept. Okay, this is union and this is intersect and this is accept. Okay, so if you see the except, okay, so like if you compare to with the A tables, okay, what is there, uh, you know, so what, so if you compare with the table B, so what is we have, you know, in table A, so other than, so the common records, which is only unique records, okay, which is not there in the table B, okay, which is not there in the table B, so we have only in the table A, so what is that record, so table, so we have only A, a is the extra record which is not there in the table B. So that is uh, except here. Okay, that is the except here. Answer is A. So if you compare with the, this one, so like, so what is not there in the table A if you compare with the table B. So E is not there in the table, table A. 
okay in table 1 we don't have e so we have extra e here so that is a except when you compare with the table b okay table b we cover with the table a okay let's get you no know, so we'll take the same examples okay we'll call it as a table 1 and then table 2 okay so let's we are getting the same results or not okay we are so whatever we expected in excel so the same results we are getting or not we'll see okay let me go here and then enter data let me zoom it okay so this is id so so you can call it as table 1 and then load again we'll go with the excel this is uh, table 2 enter data okay so this is table 2 and then load so yeah we have two tables now so these are the table functions okay if you want to do union intersect anything so you have to take the uh, so you have to take a new table here okay there is a new table just select that so this time i'm going to do union table okay union so i'm doing union table so the syntax of union and intersect just a simple syntax case okay if you go with the union union open bracket table one uh, table one comma table two comma table one comma table two comma so on so tables even uh, even uh, so this intersect and uh, union i accept also same same okay so instead of you know union you will go with the intersect uh, even uh, except also like the same sorry uh, so let's take this so n number of tables you can combine so all uh, so all this union and except and then intersect so this will combine the uh, data so yeah so now we'll go and then uh, see okay so hope you understand the syntax right so just go here uh, equal to operator then after union so in union you will give the table one so our table one comma table two so let's select that and then enter see a a b b c so if you, you know select this one let's take a copy so whether what we are expected the same results we got or not okay so let's paste it here so let's paste it here Sorry. see same results right Yes. So whatever we expected. So it's just you no, know, it will take this one and then it will take this one and then it will you no, know, it will combine like this. Okay. So that is a union. Union uh, so union will allow the duplicates. Okay. So that's what uh, so that is the union. Okay, it's just combines the all the data. So so as expected, we got the results. Okay, even we'll see intersect. Okay, we'll get the same results or not, we'll see. So now let me go here and then uh, take a new table. So this time we go with the intersect. Intersect table, something like that you can write. So intersect, you can write. So just here also you have to write a left table and right table. So the table one is a, my left table and table two is my right table and then enter. So the common records, okay, whatever the common records we have, so we get this, this common records, okay, if you see, so whatever we expected, the same results we are getting are not see, we see, okay, see, same results, right, okay, so now we'll go with the except, so now we'll go with the except, so let's select the new table, uh, except table, you can go with the accept so the second one just you can click on tab so table one is my left table and then table two is my right table so if you go with that so just so whatever the common uh, so only a has that uh, so only table one has that a so that is the reason to see compared to this so a is not there in the table two so but a we have in the table a except means okay whatever we have in the table a which is not matching with the table b so that is the reason it's written in. okay if you reverse the tables okay if you reverse the table so we'll get the e as an answer okay see uh, no uh, here you will write a uh, no, table 2 
and then if you write the table three, you are comparing sorry table one. So you are comparing the reverse, right? So that's the reason. So whatever is not there in the table A, so at, that will written here in the output. Okay, this is not there in the table one. Okay, E is not there in the table one. So that is the reason. See if you compare these two, so E is not there in the table one. So that is the reason it has been written. Okay, so this is about the uh, you know uh, union um, intersect and accept. Except, but the thing is, so we have some conditions to do that. So all tables, okay, not both tables, all tables, okay. We can do more than two tables also. All table columns should have a same columns, okay. If you have, you know, suppose uh, here you have ID and uh, uh, so let's go to the Power Query editor. Uh, we'll add some extra columns, so then you will get, you know, error. So if you have, if you add in a table A, if you add one extra column. So table, so table one, if I add one extra column, suppose, suppose amount column, if I add amount column, just double click here, what happened? So if I add some amount column, so just to amount column and then uh, write uh, anything, okay, just, uh, Okay, so something you can write like that and then delete this. So automatically you will get an error. So if you load this records, okay, so um, intersect and uh, union all will should have, you know, one common, see, we are getting error. So even intersect and inter intersect and union. So all columns should have, you know, same, um, all tables should have same columns and then should have same data types. And also we should have same column order also. Okay, suppose if you have ID and then name and then salary. So suppose uh, if you have, you know, uh, table A, if you have ID, uh, name, uh, salary. So in a table, we also, we should have, you know, same ID, name, uh, salary. Okay, same uh, order we should have. Otherwise, so if you know, uh, suppose if you have like this, okay, let me remove this. Anyhow, you understood, right? So let me remove this. If you have ID oh, one, uh, two, three, something like that, and then name AAA and BBB and CCC, something like that. So in next table, okay, so let's go with the only two columns. Okay, next table, I have you know, name first and then ID last. Okay, name first and then ID last. So how union will work? Okay, suppose uh, some here we have our DDD and then E, okay, E, E, and then here we have three and then four. Okay, so in final table, how union will work, you know? So just to uh, uh, say, take this, first if you go with this one, uh, this table, okay, so just, uh, so it will take these columns and then, so it will add this data first. Okay, it will add this data first and then, same again, it will go and then bring the data here. So just add this, okay? So in, in ID column, you are getting the names, okay? In name column, you are getting the IDs, okay? That means, okay, whatever the data is ordered, so the same data is bring here and then it will append like this. But in, in Power Query append, it's not like that. It will swap the columns, okay? And also, we required same data types also, okay? We required same data type also. Uh, same column order also, same columns also. Okay, these are the conditions when you want to do with the union, intersect, and expert. Hope you like the video, guys. Okay, please uh, share and subscribe if you watch the first time my channel. Subscribe to encourage me. Hit the like button, guys. Okay, I am doing the daily videos. Okay, hit the like button so for more videos. Thank you, guys. Okay, yeah.